I was just praying and setting sacred space. If you're in the balcony, you can see this. I, look, I was literally like just setting sacred space, praying, doing my thing. And I was looking down at our list and I was like, oh, okay. We have Michael Moore, or yeah, Michael Morrissey, the feds, pizza sh the pizza shop, Colin Albert, even if we did him, I don't remember doing him, but I can't imagine us not doing him. Auntie Bev, I saw that question. And so I was like setting the intention to go back into the Canton energy, which even though it's dark, it's nothing like Idaho. <laughs> Tell you that. Or maybe that was like my first time with that entire, that experience was my first time. So now we're, <laughs> we're old pals or whatever that saying is. So anyway, I just had to show you that this candle was going completely nuts. And well, I'd like to do something on Canton today. I'm not really sure. And I'd like to say thank you to everyone who, um, well, one of our beautiful friends has been marking in old videos where people are, if they make it like on the DNA list or on the afternoon traffic list. Thank you, you're an angel. So I've been trying to condense our notes. Um, last case, well, in the Idaho case, I did share my notes with a few creators, which is totally cool. We don't break news here, I'll tell you that. I'm chick oh, and this is all for entertainment purposes only. No facts here. Please do your own research. Everyone has Google. I'm not presenting this as a fact. Literally, I'm a chick with a tarot deck. And I think those are all the things I need to say. I, If you have met with me and I said I was going to get the money course done, I have... It's, I want to say it's done, but it's like 80%. I need to proof it one more time and make sure it feels right. There was a meditation that I needed to fix. So that hopefully will be done today. I have something to do in a half an hour. I don't have any clock, so we're just going to trust. And with that, I am ready to go to Canton. <laughs> I heard Mark Bedero. I'm a fangirl of Mark Bedero. And last week... He's been kind of hinting that he might take Turtle Boy on because he is like very personally invested in truth and justice, like everyone should be. And he's been asking questions about Turtle Boy. He had read some of his arrest affidavits or whatever they are. I don't even want to call them that because it's as probable as a taillight. But anyway... And then he announced on the Young Jerks the other night that he is going to do it. So, oh, you know what I don't have? Oh, the pizza shop is d &E. I saw a lady, and I don't know who it is, otherwise I would give her credit, but she read all of the, well, she read like a number of reviews from d &E Pizza, apparently because they're just horrible. And they're not. I mean, Karen Reed supporters, just like Karen Reed, have class and dignity. They don't act like white trash. And they're just, they're the typical boomer. Um, like my parents have no problem writing a review. It's like, just write them a good review and call the owner. That's my opinion. I always, I leave five star reviews for everything, everything. I don't think I've ever left not a five star review. But that's just, okay. It's on it. And then I talk to someone, I give them a call. If, if anything was bad enough, I wanted to talk to someone about it, which doesn't ever, also never happens. But that being said, I would like to, darn, I was really trying to push that in the direction of um, the d and &E, but I'm getting Michael Morrissey. And the cards are hardly staying together. So we're going to check in on old chubby fingers himself. And that's not, I mean, I'm sure name calling is not nice and it's not. So I apologize if it hurts your feelings, if you're watching big guy, but probably back off those carbs and hit the treadmill or just walk. 
your body wants to live a little longer. Well, so we're going to check in on Michael Morrissey, see what's going on in his world. I did tell the top, I'm just going to oh, make sure you guys can see it. We're going to have to, oh, compromise. I was going to say, if you can't see me shuffle and you don't trust me, that's okay. There are lots of really good readers out there because I'd rather have them down here. And the reason is because that's the whole point of having that up there. So we'll just have to compromise on that. But I think you can see me right now. So we're going to go with it. And we're going to check in on Chubby Fingers himself. He earned that nickname because his sticky fingers were all over everything. His archetype was. He is strength. Oh, I'm also learning something really cool. I can't wait to talk about it. Pooh Barrel now, what I'm talking about, but it's, it's actually not, it has to do with tarot and that's the only connection. So with that, we're just going to let these cards shuffle till we're ready. They couldn't get out. Okay. All right. These cards are almost ready. Oh, oh God. <gasps> The weight of the world is on his back. <sighs> to me, in this one moment, this is like the guy who, what is it? The saying is like, make your bed and lay in it or something. It's like he dug his own grave and continues to keep digging it against all advice coming from every outlet, unless they're sponsored by the McAlberts, allegedly, in my opinion. And he just has the weight of the world on him. Poor guy. Oh, oh boy. Oh, he knows how to make deals. Oh, he's good at making deals. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and he loves fighting. Oh, here he is, literally in all of his glory. Well, <gasps> I can't make it up. Oh, he wants to get out of town. Oh, and we're gonna pin, the gr pin it on the girl. Pin that death on the girl. I have no idea if he has children or not, but I hope he does. Another woman I saw that's not the same that did the, um, I wish I could remember. I know they're not on my list. I was just looking at my list to see, but I didn't, I didn't know them before this, but they're two separate women. And the other woman allegedly, well, I don't know what the alleged part is, just that I'm saying it. Uh, Rafferty, whatever that girl woman's name is, she lives in a $1.7 million house, which is absolutely gorgeous, but it's on the market. And this woman said that it's because she has um, a few lawsuits. Yeah. I don't know, to be honest, but it was nice looking at her house. The house was really nice. And so that was something else I did. I, <laughs> does it sound like I was very productive in the last day or two, but... I did see d &E has like a 2.3 out of 5 and reviews, like that's their score. And Rafferty's home. Someone did mention that her dad was part of connections to Union Scotland Yard. And that's not it, though. Uh, it's A-E-I-A-I-E-A. -E -I, -E I don't know. You guys will know. And if you don't know, it's okay. That's unconfirmed and complete specter from wherever I heard it. So anyway, um, yikes. I don't know what his family life story is. I'm hoping he has a couple of kids, I'm assuming. Perhaps he's a really nice husband and perhaps he's a swindler. What is that saying? Um, a s snake oil... Salesman? I don't know if he's a good salesman or not. I did. Uh, I don't know. I don't have much to say about him. That's nice. But he's telling us. Oh, he's so screwed. Okay. Well, good news is, is that? Oh, here's Benefart. You've got to be kidding me. Here's the stress and anxiety card. We always get this in the Edo for it. all the decision makers. Always get that. Here's Benefart. Of course, couldn't have a. Reading with the big guy without her. Can you guys see this? Oh, good. 
few. She, I'm so glad she made it. Whew. I saw a comment or someone emailed me or somehow that you were afraid of tarot cards. Ask yourself where that fear comes from. I'll tell you right now where it comes from. It's well, I grew up Catholic. So these are like the devil's playground, which that's a whole nother story in itself. But um, it's a learned behavior, I'm guessing. So ask, go into a meditative state or just ask yourself, um, why are you afraid of them? Because prior to Catholicism, depending on the date, I mean, the timeline doesn't really matter. But if you're interested, check out what happened in about 1200 AD just recent, well, comparatively speaking, recently. Uh, 400 was another significant time for the Catholic Church, well, in the start of it. The point is, this is, it's an initiation. It's like a soul's journey through life. So if, my guess is, I've only met two people in my entire life that aren't here to help, that are actually earthlings. Everyone else comes from another place. We're just here to rise the consciousness and help others, like help humanity rise. And that the tarot is actually something that they've used for deviation, or not deviation, for initiation. Since like ancient Greece, Atlantis had something probably much more advanced than us on tarot cards. But anyway, the fee so I would work through that. My recommendation, I understand it and I'm not downplaying it. You, that's probably very valid, but my guess is it's probably learned. It's not a natural reaction. So anyway, if you're still interested, do it. I recommend it. Okay. Oh, good. Karen's here. Okay. Back to chubby fingers. Yep. That's you, bug guy. Karen's here to protect us. I have no idea where we're going. Okay. This guy... I hope he has children. He may have four or he may have two. He might have some mommy issues too. Who doesn't down there? God, if you guys weren't all inbreeding, you wouldn't be having mommy issues. Okay, actually he might have three. He might actually have a big family or he might be involved in afternoon traffic. <sighs> it's all smoke and mirrors and he's trying to get out of town. I would too. Oh boy. Oh, well, all right, hold on. These cards just keep giving us gifts. Okay, hold on. I keep saying hold on, but we keep getting cards that I feel like we need. If you're new, welcome, I'm so glad you're here. I'm done saying I don't read them in reverse. That ended up causing way more confusion. Now I just shuffle them so they don't come out in reverse. On this deck, I do read them in reverse and I just read Game of Thrones the other day in reverse. But the point is, what I do want to say now is, I don't remember, but the main point is of what I was just saying, oh, I don't have a certain number of cards that I always lay. I don't say, oh, I'm going to lay eight or four or six. That's just not my jam. I just lay them intuitively. And when it feels like I need to stop, that's when I stop. Uh, the Reason I was saying, oh man, in the beginning of this was because Ethan always shows us this. There's only two circles in the tarot and I happen to be holding them right now. And the circles are an ending. In a regular reading, this could be a cycle. Say someone's getting a divorce, graduating from school or having a baby. That cycle in their life is done. The way that it has been shown to us in true crime is the end. Do not cross go. Goodbye. I wasn't joking about taking care of your health. If you want. Then we have a pregnancy card. Birthing new ideas. First of all, I don't know what this means. But there is an abnormal number of children of children pages on here. Oh, um, this could be Sandra Birchmore. That's what I just got. Hmm. Well, it's all coming to the light. Then we have the Queen of Swords. This is Benefer. She's in all of her glory in every way she can. The Queen of Swords, she's very strategic. She's also super smart. I don't know if that one's that smart but she can shake your hand or cut your head off. She doesn't play. 
We also have the Queen of Wands. She thinks she's the, she's the action. She's make sure that stuff gets done. And we have Moon, which is two-faced. <laughs> the Moon's also secrets that are never going to come out. Which could be all of her. I don't know. All right. So Chubby Fingers, Morrissey. I would definitely start looking at my health before I get to all of the stress that you're under because I don't even know where to start. Well, I know where to start. I mean, I could do, I don't have to go through every single one, but I will just to explain it. But here's Chubby Fingers himself. The strength that he's, the strength is this woman is taming a lion. So she's become one with her intuition. She's also become one with like the universe. She's not afraid of the lion. She's taming him. I have no idea what that has to do with him, but who cares? He, and the reason that this is his card is because it's his birthday. Uh, archetypes run with the major arcana, the major arcana you can find by finding the person's birthday. And then there's a major arcana card that corresponds with it. Oh boy. Okay. I have 15 minutes. Uh, he's sick of carrying all the weight. This to me is like a whiny victim. Mm. Like you made your bed and didn't realize that there were going to be consequences. I was just watching Sarah Boone. I don't know why that's back on the radar. Oh, cause she's can't believe she has consequences for her actions. Like literally, she can't believe it. So there are consequences to your actions and those consequences are going to start with stressful nights. You don't even know. I have to turn this off. I had a timer up or a, an alarm, so I didn't forget. Okay, this is a stressful night. You're not sleeping very well because there's a dead little boy. I don't know where this dead little boy is, but I'm guessing it was on the lawn of 34 Fairview. Then we also have Benefer's other half. We have Benefer in all of her sticky finger glory. We have Benefer's star and the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Wands. So we have Benefer here. I think he reports to Benefer too. Um, then uh, you might have some mommy issues. Oh, first of all, yeah, you might have some mommy issues. Your mommy issues are not, not even close to the problems you have. This is Karen. Karen always comes or has recently in the past come when we're going into the darkness. Yeah, well, you're not light. Let's just say that. Perhaps when you were young and fit in these pants, you worked hard. But then you realized that you could go into partnership, perhaps with the McAlberts. I have no idea who. And this whole working hard thing, that was out the door. I have no idea if you actually ever worked hard, but if you did, it was when you could fit into these cute little pants. <laughs> then we have that you created a partnership with a lot of smoke and mirrors. And there was a lot of money. There was an offer of money. And you decided that now nah, you didn't, you had enough problems at home. Three people in your marriage by any chance? I don't know if you're married or not. Maybe your parents got divorced if you're not married. I don't know what your family life is like, but if this isn't a marriage for you, this perhaps could be your parents. It's an ultimate broken heart. It does actually make me feel bad for you, but they have things you can do for self-help. I mean, they have counselors, they have everything. You could do it yourself. You don't need to go anywhere. So your mommy issues or your marriage is not on my radar. Then uh, that wasn't enough. So someone else brought you a gift and you said, nope, 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 nope. I'm good. I have my little life. I don't bring money in, money le doesn't leave. There's no action here. This guy, he's not 
he's just sitting on his money. He's not generating new money or spending any. He's just sitting with it. So finally, the last offer came and you said, okay, this is a good idea. Bring me the dollars. And then you raised your price to make things go away and pin it on the girl. And that's when things started going downhill for you. You kept secrets, became a, one of the many billion, well, not billion, well, tons of civil rights complaints by just withholding evidence. From the defense, you had secrets that you didn't want out, but sorry for you, the feds were tracking you. This to me, ever since Ethan, or since the Idaho 4 case is the internet. I know that in regular tarot, it means rest and like thinking, but well, I don't really see it like that. It is time out, but it's also like not willing to take what's coming to him. He's just sitting here with his arms folded like a little brat. And this cloud's even trying to bring him a gift and he's just not moving. But it, so the cloud gave me this, somehow it came in to be the internet. So they were watching you. We know that, which caused a lot of fighting. And you wanted to get in your chariot and get out of Dodge because the world as you knew it was over. The death of a person, a life, many people was, and it shot, it, you had a death on your hands. You, you, you had blood on your hands, but not literally. You didn't, trust me, if it wasn't a fork, you weren't picking it up. <laughs> Sometimes then this is a happy home. I'm sure it looks pretty happy, but you're stuck between a rock and a hard place. And Sandra Birchmore is here and she wants you to know that life as you know it is over. Mic drop. Good job, Sandra. I like her. I like her personality. Um, so Michael Morrissey, I'd say things are going as well as expected. I don't know what kind of delusion every one of these. I mean, they weren't, they weren't taught self-respect, self-love, manners. I mean, class. And I saw that the two women somewhere probably in here um, that we did the other day, one of them's a special, oh, I saw it on Reddit. One of the ladies, I don't know if it was Courtney or Lizzie, uh, is a special ed teacher. Oh, I appreciate your service, but you will not be teaching us. No, no, no. No, I'd have no interest in having her, any of these people teaching any of my children. That's like uh, Daybell's daughter after watching her behavior on the stand. No, I don't trust you. We're going to check in with Ashley at the Reckonings cards. I want to say that Sandra Birchmore, both Sandra and Karen are here. Karen's just divine. Just remember that when you're like, I can't believe this is happening. Literally the only person who could have withstood it and done what she, what has happened was her. She was literally divinely chosen. That's straight up how I feel about that. There is, there's no one else that could have done what she did. And I think that Sandra Birchmore would also like to have a word or two with him. Because I'm guessing that's what this pregnancy is. Hopefully it's not any other young children who've been groomed. And I think that she wants you to know that she's also waiting for you. You're not going where she's going, though. Don't worry about it, bud. You get to come back here and do it all again until you learn. So with that, I'm just going to pull these. Oh. I have five more minutes. All right, so we're gonna drop these. Um, Ashley at The Reckoning, I love her. I talk about her every day. You'd think we were besties. She is a nice Capricorn female though. I think she's also a January baby. So I saw, this is like off topic. I saw someone ask when my birthday was. <laughs> my birthday is January 1st and I used to drink and liked it, whatever. And so of course the whole world celebrated my birthday. And I was in a bar one time. Well, it started once and then I just did it every year. And someone's birthday was the 31st. And I was like, oh, how's it feel to be last? 
And now every year I think I still think of it and I still think I'm hilarious. But yeah, I'm a January 1st baby. There's a lot of significance in the numbers. I'm learning all about them right now. And so yeah, January Capricorn. Oh boy, we had a jumper. Oh good, good. We're on the right track with Morrissey. Oh, he's a snake, a backstabber, super low vibe. Kidnapped, hands tied. This could be any number of people. The, I don't think it's speculation. Jackson straight up. Oh, I found a video of Jackson from like 10 years ago. He's still cute as can be. He's cutie pie. Um, if they took John's phone, which you can assume by McCabe's calling it, he was kidnapped against his will. Here's a marriage ceremony. Guys, oh, in a secluded area. In a false flag. Oh, yeah, somebody's definitely stepping out. That's the least of your worries. Just thank her for leaving you. We have a marriage ceremony. Perhaps that's in a secluded area. False flag. This is false. I wonder if the false is... Oh, I saw someone say the private property could be um, 34. Great call. I wonder if the false... Perhaps he's not married. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, you guys just... If you didn't watch me shuffle, you could hear it. We have bloodline lineage, white trash, all the way back to the Mayflower. Blackmail, paid off. Follow the money. This is a routine habit. Frozen preserved, could be John. I mean, not no. I think in... No, I'm confusing Sarah Boone. There are delays in justice. I can't wait. Prosecutorial misconduct. That's going to hurt because you went to school to, you took a note to be an ethical person. Oh yeah, you have a divorce, breakup, separation. If you're not in the middle of a divorce, uh, sorry to tell you, it's on its way. The female's leaving because you have health issues. Here's John to remind you that you can run, but you can't hide. Oh, you're probably going to self-sabotage. I don't know how you could self-sabotage more. You've already like blown up your your like life and you won't stop. Oh, there's a pattern repetition of death. That's not good because there's a lot of corruption here. The military operation didn't quite go as needed. Um, you might be the missing key. I doubt it. You're you're the door. Originally, dummy. There's an optical illusion, and we have a career. A oh, caregiver, medical staff, maybe one of your daughter. I don't know what your child situation is, but we have law enforcement here going the wrong way and they're fired. You're about to get fired. Oh, because you're part of the hidden network. Of course you are. Oh, and here's El Diablo. Okay, we've gone far enough. We got, oh, and disposal of evidence. Oh, I don't know, probably Sean. I'm sure it was Sean. I saw someone doesn't like him. That's nice. <laughs> Don't worry. I still love him. Um, I so probably on Sean's. He was the one who made the call to Higgins and Albert to destroy their phones. Yep. So we, I mean, embezzlement, we got that yesterday for him. So things are going as well as expected in Michael Proctor's life. If his wife hasn't filed for divorce yet, I hate to tell you, she's about to. And I hope you have children because otherwise you're already on the list that you don't want to be on. You just made the um, afternoon traffic list because Epstein just showed up. Ah, sucker. I'm just going to put you down as chubby fingers. And if you lose weight, I'll call you <laughs> slim or something. That'll be funnier. Um, so unfortunately for you, you're on off of our to-do list on the other list for all of the regular things. Sandra Birchmore wants you to know that, do we have to go back through these? I think we've got it. She's here and she's waiting for you, which we appreciate and she's welcome anytime. 
And we will tap more into her as she comes or as we get closer to that case. I haven't felt called to do it lately, or ever, but we will. And if she wants to send you a message, I think she just sent you one that was pretty clear. So chubby fingers, nothing really to report. He's make what is it? He's like making his bed and he can't believe he has to lie on it. It's literally like Sarah Boone cannot believe that she's getting charged with unaliving George, her husband or her boyfriend. Oh, and I was re-listening to it. And in the 911 call, she straight up says, I put him in the suitcase. So whatever defense she was going to use other than the video of him asking to get out, that's straight up consent. Um, yikes. Yeah, anyway, he's like Sarah Boone. He reminds me of Sarah Boone. He like, cannot believe he's in trouble. I think he's really in a delusion that he doesn't think he's in trouble. Like, what is going on with the water in Canton? Are you guys in a different reality? I heard Mark Bedero say, I was going to say this earlier and then I got distracted, was um, the first the first Constitution went to Canton to die. I thought that was pretty funny. And with that, I love you and leave you guys. That was a long reading for the same information, but it's always nice to tap in. He's in complete denial. Can't believe he literally doesn't think anything's happening. So he might be in the middle of a divorce or is about to be. And Sandra Birchmore showed up to let you know she's here, which we love. He works with the dark side and afternoon traffic. And he perhaps didn't, <laughs> when he could wear spandex, he might have been good, but. And if he doesn't have five children, well, five technically showed up, two pages and two nights, and then we had one more page. He might have five children or any mix of those, hopefully. And hopefully he knows that this divorce is coming, so he's not. it's not breaking news. We don't break news here. But I'll love you and leave you. Until next time, thank you so much for coming, uh, liking, sharing, subscribing, all the things. I love you guys. Thank you.